Hey, hey, thank you so much for joining me on another episode of Talks with Tony. Got a question today. It's, it's a looks like it's a little lengthy, but not too, too bad. So, hi, Tony. I recently watched you on the Breakfast Club interview and shortly after I subscribed to your podcast. I love and appreciate the advice you give because it is so relatable. Hey, thank you so much for watching my Breakfast Club interview. For those of you who have not, Probably you just can search Tony Gaskins Breakfast Club on YouTube and it'll come up. However, I have a situation, not necessarily a question, but maybe just advice is what I need. I am 25 years old. My boyfriend is 27. We have been together for five years. So since you were 20 and he was 22. And we also have been living together for one year. In 2016, we broke up because he said he needed time to get himself together. When in my eyes, it really meant he had interest elsewhere. I am a very loving person. I love love. And after being in a draining relationship with my ex, he was the total opposite of my ex. Everything I ever wanted in a man. So when he broke up with me, it devastated me to where I cried so much. My eyes would be swollen and I lost weight within the breakup. Within the breakup for two weeks. I slept with a random guy because I was so numb and I felt it would be fulfilling for me because of the hurt he caused me. At this time, I thought we were really over because my boyfriend had stopped talking to me as if I wasn't anything to him. Well, after getting back together three weeks later, he went through my phone while I was asleep and saw a message. I was talking to my friend about the rebound I had sex with. To be, de to be detailed, I mentioned how it didn't feel right because one, he wasn't my boyfriend and I had no connection with him. But I did say his girth was big. This caused my boyfriend to flip S. Um, I don't curse, but y'all know the S word, to flip S. And after that, we remained together trying to make it work. Within the anger, he also told me he did sleep with someone he met on a dating app which meant he really did have interest in someone else. Four years later, here we are. He still has major insecurity about what he saw in my phone that night. He has become very draining because of this. Every time we argue, he holds it over my head as if he didn't do the same. We don't do it as often anymore or go on dates. He is a homebody, but I feel like if it's for my happiness, he would be with it. When we have sex, sometimes I can't even enjoy it because I'm afraid if I even suggest someone, he'll flip it and ask if that's what I did with the other guy. If you even suggest somehow or sometimes he'll flip. Oh, OK. I, I'm not sure what you mean if you suggest someone. I care about his feelings so much when we have sex, it's like stepping on eggshells. So I try to do everything right. I don't understand how am I so wrong for sleeping with a rebound in a breakup when he did the same. It caused issues in our household to where I feel disconnected from him and sometimes very alone. I always ask him, why can't he be the way he was when we met? And he says he was really young when we met and now he's older. So other things are on his mind like success. At this point, I'm on the edge of breaking it off with him because I have nothing else to offer. I recently listened to an episode of yours where you said giving a man hubby treatment when he's just a boyfriend is something we shouldn't do. I, however, am doing that exact thing to make up for the guilt I feel of what I did, but it's not fixing anything. I've even paid rent on my own twice because he lost his job. I also let him use my car. I come from a two parent household and he comes from a one parent household. His dad died when he was 18. So I feel like this has a lot to do with it. He doesn't know how to treat a woman when he was 18. He doesn't know how to treat a woman correctly because he never saw it. There are so many layers, ups and downs to my relationship, but I really love this man and I know he loves me. We talk about marriage a lot, but I'm but am I setting myself up? Please help. Well, sister, I tell you this, um, and it's hard. This is definitely hard. Y'all have been together five years. Um, in 2016, you broke up. 
so five years ago, it's 2019. So y'all got together 2014, 2016, you broke up because he said he needed some time to get himself together. So first let's address that. The first thing you met him, actually let's go back, he was 22. Ladies, you have to understand that a man under the age of 25 is hard to trust because he does not have his life figured out. Even men at 25, even men at 30 still do not have things figured out. Still growing, still learning. You got him at 22. So he didn't really know what he wants. I got married at 23, but I didn't get it right until 25 as far as my mindset. So you met him 22. He didn't know what he wanted and he's an average man. He's an average man, meaning that, you know, he, he's just kind of growing at the normal pace. 2016, he left you, said he needed to get himself together. That always means I need some time to investigate this other woman, to spend some time with this other woman to see if I'm interested somewhere else. So your intuition told you that you felt he had interest elsewhere and you were very right. You went and slept with another man because you felt so numb. I cannot argue your feelings because I am not a woman and I don't know what that feels like. Um, I would imagine if I asked some women, they may say that's an excuse. I don't care how hurt I am. I'm not going to lie up under another man where I can potentially get pregnant or catch a disease just because I'm hurting because my boyfriend left me. If anything, I will lie in my bed and cry and lose weight and not eat, but I'm definitely not going to sleep with another man. So you have to address that and you gotta be real and honest with yourself. Did you have sex with him because you were numb and because you thought it would be fulfilling um, or because you wanted to get back at your ex or because you just wanted some physical touch or if you know you have or if there's some type of you know insecurity or sexual addiction there you have to get to the truth of that matter you know yourself but you didn't delete your text you text your girl about it and the text is kind of it's uh it makes it sound like that you're lying you know about your feelings about you slept with a random guy because you were so numb and you felt it would be fulfilling for you because of the hurt your ex had caused you. But then in talking to your girl about the rebound, you mentioned the guy's girth. So that is a sign of pleasure that you took notice of his size and the pleasure that the, I bumped into a post the other day and I can't remember what it was or where it came from. Um, it was a, a, I think it was a woman promoting like a female toy, you know, pleasure toy. And it was like an ad, you know, and then I clicked on the page who sells the toys. And they had a post on there and it said, women, what matters most to you? Girth, number one, two, length. And like, I'm reading the comments and like 80% of the women said girth. And then probably, you know, 10% said both. And then like 10% said length. And I remember clients saying that to me in coaching calls that, oh, I got with this new guy and he's different than my last guy. But, you know, for him, you know, the sex is different because it's not as long, but he has girth. And I'm like, what is this that I'm hearing? And so for you to say that, that represents some, you know, some pleasure that you took some notice of this. So when your boyfriend read that, it threw him all the way off. Because if this was just rebound sex, if this was meaningless sex, why are you commenting on the size of the man? That right there, 
understand this. I think it was Rick Ross who had an album title that is titled God Forgives, I Don't. Men do not forgive. We do not forgive. And when I say that, I'm speaking as a blanket statement. We, we do actually forgive, but what I mean is 90% of men don't forgive. And the 10% that does, we never forget. So it's things that, you know, 12 years into marriage, I still want to bring up from 10 years ago as a man. And I'm a mature man. Look at what I'm doing with my life. So if a mature man who is 35 years old and loves God, you know, lives right inside and out behind the scenes, matches his highlight reel. Speaking of myself, if a mature man still hasn't gotten over some small things that happened a decade ago and still has battles of wanting to bring it up. I want to bring something up last night. I'm a relationship coach. So I say that to be very honest and transparent to say, if I feel this way, every man feels this way. I mean, 90 to 99% of men feel this way. So with your guy being 27, oh my goodness, you are definitely playing yourself. You are definitely setting yourself up for failure. Um, you, it, it's unfortunate that what you did during the breakup is being held against you because he did the same thing. He would have never told you. He only told you out of anger. And he could even be lying about, about it. I don't, I don't think he's lying, but he could be lying. He told you out of anger. He would have never even told you what he did. But the fact that you went and in his eyes bragged about this guy's girth to your friend, he, he has stayed with you to use you. He stayed with you because he knows how much you love him and how much you want to be with him. But he's actually, you know, a bum boy. He's actually a grown boy and a bum boy, you know, because he's living off of you losing jobs and not going to get another job got you paying rent using your car he's using you he's lost he's confused and he's hurt and he's there to get from you what he can get when he finds your replacement he's going to drop you like a bad habit and he will not care at all he's going to look you in the eyes and say go back and get your girth go back to girth boy i'm out of here when he gets on his feet he's leaving you like there's no tomorrow. He is out of there. So listen to me when I tell you. It has nothing to do with his upbringing that his dad died at 18. It, it, it has everything to do just with the male ego and our feelings and our heart and how we process things. It has everything to do with that. So understand this. You're going to have to find some strength, get some coaching or some counseling or both and hear what you need to hear work on you and grow but i believe you're going to have to let this go it's a personal choice but he's never going to get over this he's never going to get over this and you will have to hear about this and the fact that you know y'all have been together for five years and you're not married i reading this thought that y'all were married I'm, i forgot that you're not married that's another huge red flag if he's not trying to you're not even engaged, marriage is not even on the table, you will be in this same place five years from now. You will have wasted 10 years of your life. I honestly believe you will be in the same place 15 years from now, but you probably may have two or three kids. I don't see if you mentioned anything about kids, but you probably will end up with two or three kids from him over the next 10 years. And then you definitely will be stuck and you will feel like your life is over. So listen to me when I tell you, the mistakes of your past are being held against you. Is it fair? No. But is it happening? Yes. Is it a reality? Yes. Do you have to live with it, understand that, and realize that you can't force him to forgive, force him to heal? Yes. You got to come to that realization. And I think it's time 
to wash your hands of this situation. You probably won't listen to me. And you probably look up in five years and realize that I was right. But I've seen this and I deal with it on this end over and over and over. So, so just like you wrote me this same situation, I, I got a thousand other emails from women who they at year 10. And another thousand that's at year 15 who had the same opportunity to leave at five years and didn't want to do it because it was too painful to break the soul tie. Make sure you visit TonyGaskinsAcademy.com. That's my name, academy.com. I got a course called Soul Ties. Got a course called Real Love University. If you're listening to this and you need it, take those courses. They're dirt cheap. Take the courses. You can actually use the coupon code TONY20. That's T-O-N-Y-2-0. T-O-N-Y-2-0. So before hitting purchase, you hit view this course, you read the whole course, you hit buy now, but before entering your information, you hit apply, um, have a coupon, put Tony20, T-O-N-Y-2-0, hit apply coupon, then hit purchase. You get 20% off the course, they're already cheap, but make sure you take the Soul Ties course, Real Love University. I have another course called Dating 101, Understanding Men. All of those courses will help you. Hey, this is Tony Gaskins. Thank you so much. If you have a question, please send it in to inbox at TonyGaskins.com. Inbox at TonyGaskins.com. Talk soon.